it finally start looking better <laughs> little bit less clutter than it was before i can actually see my table and the card and everything is kind of like pound down because this is my scrap box it's way down than it was before and i pretty much down to some uh, small containers of little scraps i want to show you today what i have done in the last couple days so of course i made some of the um fragments blocks out of scraps uh, some of them just cut out from something and I, I don't know yet how I'm gonna use it but it's always good to have those around because when you need it they are there so those I made yesterday and today made the long long strip like this so that could be a frame to something or just like a little strip for color i don't know yet when i will make something i will point out just like here look this is one of the scraps strips i made i mm, had this together like this today there we go so i had this together like this uh it's too long for anything and i thought maybe i will make in this direction uh what they call a makeup bags and put some borders outside but it kind of like doesn't look nice so i decided to just cut this off and square this up for something else maybe a pot holder because this is like a kitchen related so here you don't see much of the peppers but here there's a lot of peppers so that probably better be in the pot holder than the makeup bag right and uh, i assembled this fragment from scraps as well to be a back of this uh, makeup bag but then I decided not to make a makeup bag still have this piece so I don't know yet uh, where I'm gonna use it but it's there and yes I did spend some time on that but at least there are no scraps just like a laying around like you know like everywhere so yeah that's pretty much kind of like getting down compact i also made this is definitely a pot holder i framed it to be a pot holder there's like a little bit of a car there's a little bit of the cook but in general it's just a scrappy pot holder pretty cute one this is going to be a tote bag it could be a pillow a pillowcase you know the the throw pillow, pillow uh, for the couch um i don't know anybody who would like to have a pillow like this so if you see this video and you like this to be a pillowcase for your house just let me know before i start doing something with it because i think just making uh, one side of the tote bag uh, from it so just in case you're curious about it okay <laughs> so very many fabric prints from here in here um i used for uh, making masks and medical hats uh, for donation during the quarantine last year so that's a little bit uh, memorable to me this prints 
so about 70 percent of these prints were used for uh, donation ppa ppe sorry um you probably saw parts of this put together or oh, oh, separate kind of like layout so this is right now ready to go a tote bag side I will use something green on the other side and some kind of neutral lining inside, but this is going to be a tote bag. And uh, same kind of thing with a little bit of a different um, fabric around. Another butterfly made of scraps. So these are going to be uh, scrappy tote bags, both of those because I do like to use up some scraps and um, they're just fun for summer. I will make it a little bit bigger. So that could be a library book, I don't know, grocery bag, uh, craft carrying, something. <laughs> so just something. And as I said, this is gonna be another tote bag. So these are good use of scraps, I think. They're like pretty cute, very colorful. Of course, it's not for everybody. Tell the truth, about 10 years ago, I would never even think about it. But these are just so adorable. So adorable. Well, it's done. I will make another video or post the pictures and let you know that it's ready. Uh, maybe somebody will enjoy it. And especially because it's made of scraps. So it's very, um, what is that called? Sustainability, I guess. Um, when you using and reusing something. So this year is kind of all about me using reusing scraps and incorporating scraps in uh, regular fabric garments so we will see how everything turned out hopefully hopefully very well so bye